Hey beautiful people. I thought I would film this super quick makeup tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna just start getting ready and I'll talk through it. I've already primed my face. I used the Prime Light by Milani. It's just a nice slightly moisturizing uh, primer that helps your skin look a little bit luminous. I'm gonna go in with foundation next and I'm gonna mix the NYX Total, what are these called? Total Control Drops with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. So this I like the coverage, but this is more of my tone for my skin. So this is gonna be a little bit of like a 10 minute makeup challenge, but I really just wanted to show you guys what I do whenever I need to run out the door. So I moisturized, I primed, and now I'm just mixing that and throwing it on my face. So, so I'm gonna just kind of buff the foundation everywhere and then once I blend it out then I'll push it into my skin a little bit more. And then I'm gonna blend down the neck even though you can see it's a pretty good match. I'm just a little bit more olive everywhere else since I've been in the sun. So now that I have put that foundation all over my skin, you see I have a little bit of texture because I slept with my makeup on last night. I'm gonna take my brush and just pounce, pounce it on my skin. And what this does is kind of push that foundation so that it's not just sitting in this on the skin. And it honestly makes such a nice difference. All right, so now that I'm done with foundation, I'm gonna take this highlighting and concealing pen by Wet n Wild. So this has almost like negligible coverage, but it's actually really great for brightening. So I'm gonna just put that everywhere I would like to highlight. Awesome. Before I blend that out, I'm gonna go in with my Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand. This is one of my all-time favorite cream highlighters other than the Becca ones. Oh my gosh, I love this. So it just gives a really nice luminous look to your face and it doesn't look, it just looks glowy and healthy and it doesn't look cakey or artificial. Whenever you're working to blend your under eyes out, make sure if you're blending one way, you have to go back the other direction. I'm sure I just blocked that, but if I go that way, I have to come back like that. If you're just blending in one direction, it's gonna move all that product over. Now that that's on there, I'm nice and covered. I'm gonna go in with a powder to set my face. I'll be using the Kat Von D Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder. A light amount of that, just to set my under eyes and where I normally crease. So we just throw that there. I can't leave the house without bronzing. If I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to bronze. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer right here. It's just a really warm tone bronzer, so I'm gonna, I feel like I hit pan on this overnight. Like, I don't remember hitting pan, and then the next time I opened it, the pan was hit. My little, my little baby hairs are all over the place. I also like to take my finger into that bronzing powder and just put that on my lids. I actually have a blending brush, so if you have a blending brush, that's actually a little bit better. And I like to go ahead and take my shadow outwards towards my brow because I like how it accentuates my eye shape. Just like how it looks. All right, now for brows, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Micro Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. Just gonna go in and fill in the sparse areas 
lightly. So now I'm going to go through, it's more spoolie work to blend those harsh edges because I just went in like a weirdo. I wasn't really making sure it looked feathery, just kind of going in to fill in where I need some more shadow. I'm going to clean up my brows with concealer. So I find this easier to kind of throw on a messy brow and then go in and clean it up with concealer than trying really hard to have a perfect brow. All right, so now that they look wacky, I'm gonna go back in with that concealer and just clean up the brows. I'm just blending that with my fingers. So you see how that looks so much cleaner? And you can also use your brush to blend it if you a little bit quicker anyway. I'm gonna go in with my TARDIS mascara, which I'm basically out of, and I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of that. You can skip the lower lashes, but I don't want to. Okay, okay. One of my last steps is to highlight. I'm gonna go in with this highlight low light palette from Becca, and I'm just gonna really go to town because that's how I like to live my life. And then definitely on the inner corners. Can't leave, can't leave the house without it. One of the last steps is blush. I feel like on a light makeup look, I just need the blush, even though I'm not a huge blush fan. I just feel like if I'm doing a light look, the blush really makes it look like I tried. All right, so then last step is some lipstick because it's easy and I don't have to line my lips because I'm going in with a nude. So I'm just taking this lipstick, the Color Splash lipstick by Tarte and the color in the shade Salt Life. And, um, Just doing that lightly and then if you have 10 seconds to spare I recommend throwing some brow gel on this is the Milani one brow mascara all right guys that is the finished look let me come closer glowy blushy bronzed I love it what do you guys think I like it Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you like videos like this a little bit more casual and more realistic because I have been doing my makeup a little bit lighter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.